I don't want to get too much into this, but uh, just a one quick note for the end of the WAN show here. I said last week that uh, prices would equalize between 3080 and 3080 Ti. Um, some other people pointed out that they hadn't. So my response is, well, yeah, because we didn't really give it any time, did we? And so if we fast forward to today, it has been a full week, which is, I guess, a very, very long time. We couldn't have waited. Uh, we can actually see that whether we're looking at 3080 Ti's or 3080's, you can see the difference between these is about $450, which, which would suggest that they scale with MSRP or something, because there's a $500 difference between them. But, oh wait, I don't know, this 3080 Ti is $2,100. Um, 3080, $1,900, okay, so it's all looking like, yeah, maybe they scale with MSRP until... Oh no, bam, there's a 3080 Ti for 2000 uh, here's another 3080 Ti for 2000 That's a Founders Edition. That's a fancy one. Here's a 3080 for 1800 Here's a Ti for 2200 3080, 1800 3080 Ti, 2150 3080 Ti, 2350 Oh, there's one for $2,100. So it looks like if you're willing to try, you can get them for pretty darn similar prices. So we'll give it a little bit more time, and that'll, that'll keep happening. So these are sold listings in the last... These are sold listings today. Uh, 1800 for this one, 1800 for that one, 3080 Ti, here's one for 2100. Here's a Ti for 2000. That was an auction. Okay, here's a 3080 for 2000. So literally, here was the difference between these two was the 3080 actually went for more than the Ti. Here's a 3080 for 2000. Here's a TI for $2,750. I mean, you can never tell what people are what people are gonna do. So yeah, there you go. Give it time. Give it time. 3080 TIs are already going for very similar to what 3080s are going for. It just takes a little bit of time. All you have to do is not buy it. There's another 3080 for two grand. Imagine not buying things, dude. I can't. I can't. There's a 3080 for two grand. 3080 for two grand. Imagine buying a Dell Alienware version of a 3080 with no warranty whatsoever. That doesn't seem like a good move. Man, it's crazy out there right now, man. Like that is just, it's nutty. It's nuts. Here's a water-cooled 3080 Ti for under two grand. So yeah, I don't know. Give it some time. Electronic shortage survival guide. You gotta do it, man. Yeah, I don't know how to tell people how to survive. Here's a 3080 Ti for 1800. Don't buy a 3080 Ti. <laughs> I mean, what we said in the review, good Lord. Am I getting into this again? What we said in the review is if you get it at MSRP, in the context of the market today, it's a good deal. In the context of the market today. Is that a good deal? No. And what we said in our 3070 Ti video, which is $100 more than the 3070's original MSRP, at MSRP. What we said in that video was, in the context of the market today, it's a great deal. We have no idea whether that will continue to hold true for the future. Here's the big question that I would pose to people, is knowing what we know, which is that eventually performance is what dictates what something sells for, because we can, we can validate this as well by just looking at 3070 Ti. Because theoretically, the 3070 Ti being $400 cheaper than the 3080 Ti would put it at, uh, what, exactly $400 cheaper? In practice, it's actually a little bit more cheaper than that. So let's have a look at our, yeah, sold listings again. So these go for more like $1,400 to $1,500, which is anywhere from, oh, what does that work out to? While you're figuring that out, a little bit more. Chat said yeah. we shouldn't let a shortage redefine good value nothing he scrolled past is good value and he hasn't said that it is he's never said that it's a good value in the context <laughs> of the current market in the context of the current market compared to what you're going to be paying in the secondary market yeah anything at msrp is a good value today i'm sorry that that's the case but here's my question what difference would it have made to you and i get it everyone wants me to be angry alongside them and I'm angry, but I'm not going to direct my anger in a in an, into some area where it's ultimately not going to make a difference. 
What if, let's say, okay, let's let's come up with a hypothetical for you guys. What if Nvidia had priced the 3080 Ti at $100? What difference would it have made for you? Would you be able to get one? It would still cost two grand on the secondary market because that's what they go for because that's the performance of them compared to the 3080. Rush at Micro Center or whatever that place was. And a bunch of scalpers would win the lottery even more. So you can be mad. You can be mad that NVIDIA is making more money or that their partners are making more money or maybe they're sharing it or maybe retailers are making more money. I don't know. You can be mad about that, but ultimately it's either going to be them or it's going to be a scalper because you weren't going to get one. Um, and so there, that's my question is what difference does it make? I'm sorry that the situation is bad, but direct your anger where it belongs. Direct it at scalpers. Directed at the people who create these bots that make it so that they can order these cards before any human could possibly order them. Be mad, sure. But be mad in a way that's meaningful. I'm mad about it, so I created Verified Actual Gamer Program. And when I say I, I mean I directed other people to do it. Thank you very much, Luke, and the rest of the float plane team, and also Nick, and the rest of the Creator Warehouse team, and Yvonne, who had to work on a lot of the accounting for that. Like, There's no way that we made any kind of money that made up for the amount of time that we invested into creating that program. But I actually did something. What did you do? So I don't know, guys. There's a lot of people that are really mad at me over my take. But all I have to say at this point now is at the end of the day, the pricing will be dictated by the market, not by what MSRP is set. And this is pricing that the market, for whatever reason, has deemed acceptable. So direct your anger at that. There's no point directing your anger at me. What did I do exactly? And I don't really think there's much point directing your anger at NVIDIA. Is NVIDIA out to make a buck? Of course they are. They're a publicly traded company. Like every publicly traded company, they care about their bottom line more than you. But that's not new. That's not surprising. It's not newsworthy. And from my point of view, would I rather that the manufacturer of said product makes the money or a scalper? That's an interesting conversation, isn't it? What would you rather? At least the manufacturer actually did the work. And you can be mad about it, sure. Just make sure you're directing your anger in the correct place. That's, that's my last word on it.